In this video, we will discuss base B numbers. In previous videos, we discussed that the decimal system, or base 10 system, is our default system for expressing numbers, and binary, or base 2, is used by computers. In this video, we will consider generic base B numbers, where B is an integer greater than or equal to 2, but less than or equal to 36. Each base uses a certain number of symbols. For example, the decimal system, or base 10 system, uses the 10 digits 0 through 9. The binary system uses the digits 0 and 1. The base 8 system, also known as octal, uses the 8 symbols 0 through 7. And the base 16 system, also known as hexadecimal, uses the symbols 0 through 9, as well as the first six letters of the alphabet. The number of the base B determines how many symbols that base uses. For example, base 10 uses 10 symbols, base 8 uses 8 symbols, base 16 uses 16 symbols, and so on. If we are given a number written in base B and want to convert it to base 10, we can use a similar process as we used with the binary to base 10 conversion. We start by taking the rightmost digit of the base B number, r sub 0, and multiply this by b to the 0th power. We then add the product of the digit to the left of r 0, which is r 1, and the base raised to the first power. We continue this process until we get to the last digit, r sub n, which we multiply by the base b to the nth power. We then add all of these quantities together simplifying exponents, and the number that remains is the base 10 representation of the base B number. Remember that any base B uses exactly B symbols depending on the value of the base B. However, numbers like 10, 11, 12, and so on are actually comprised of two separate digits. For example, the number 10 is actually the digits 1 and 0. 11 is the digits 1 and 1, and so on. Since we only want to use unique symbols, for numbers that are greater than or equal to 10, we perform a variable substitution using capital letters of the alphabet. For example, the number 10 will become the variable capital A, the number 11 will become the symbol capital B, and so on. It is for this reason that we restrict ourselves to bases that are no larger than 36. There are nine unique numbers that we can use, 0 through 9, as well as 26 unique letters of the alphabet for a sum of 36 unique characters. To illustrate this conversion process, here are some examples. To convert the number 213 written in base 5 to base 10, we start with the rightmost digit, which is 3, and multiply that by the base 5 to the 0th power. We add 1 times 5 to the first power, and 2 times 5 to the second power. Simplifying all these values, we see that the number 213 in base 5 is the base 10 number, 58. To convert the number 13a, written in base 11, to base 10, we follow a similar process. Starting with the rightmost digit, we multiply by the bases in ascending powers. Remember that the symbol A actually represents the number 10, so the first step of the conversion is to multiply 10 times the base 11 to the 0th power, then add 3 times 11 to the first power, plus 1 times 11 squared. Simplifying these values, we see that the number 13a, written in base 11, is the base 10 number 164. Continuing this process for the remainder of the examples, we see that the number 200, written in base 20, is the base 10 number 800. The number 1010, written in base 7, is the base 10 number 350. The number AB, written in base 12, is the base 10 number 131, and the number FACE, written in base 16, or hexadecimal, 
is the base 10 number, 64,206.